but you do have a highlighter. If you've never used Mind Tap before, you do have a highlighter that you can work with. You do, you can have it read it to you. So you do have that aspect to it. So you do have those things. You can look at the full book so that you can go to all the end papers. You can go directly to a particular page. There will be times that I will reference a particular page so that you, you can actually go in there to do it, but you do have that aspect of the textbook. Another thing that you do have aspect to is there's your another way for you to get to your homework that you can see exactly when it's due. And I will go ahead and open up the first homework because I wanna point out a couple of things. Here, if you see this right here, this is a code that they give you that tells you where this is. So this refers back to the textbook that you have. This refers to the, the chapter and section. This refers to the problem. So if you go back here to your book and you go down here and you look at your problems, that refers exactly to the problem that's in your textbook. So for those of you who want to use those helpful hints from your textbook, it shows you exactly there. So you can go directly from your homework right here to the spot in the textbook so that you can actually see that homework problem. This is helpful when we get to the variable problems so that you can actually see a different number and work through it without necessarily doing a chance. And this one will actually show you the answers for some of the problems so that you have them to work with. So that was a good question. Other questions? Um, you said tomorrow we were going to uh, go for the lab, correct? Yes. The first lab. And the first lab does not require the IO lab. The first lab is going to be using Excel and um, using Excel and some of the other tools that are through Blackboard. 